Internet Glass, here to bring you a special edition from LIN News. And next weekend, we're having a special apostolic conference. And guess what? It's also Apostle Turner's birthday, our Father in the Lord. It'll be filled with power, insight, impartation, and divine instruction. The conference will begin on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at 7.30 sharp. Next Saturday, there will be a special evangelistic dream workshop that begins at 3 sharp. All services will be held in Bolingbrook, Illinois. The address is 378 Commons Drive. As far as I'm concerned, this is going to be a mega, mega conference. Check out the lineup. We are going to have Apostle Joseph Proof. It's an amazing thing. In the police department, all they need to say is man down. Every policeman drops whatever he is doing. They don't care what that policeman's past record is. They don't care what precinct he's in. If they say man down, every policeman from every jurisdiction, every rank and every level is coming for his brother. But in the church, if you say man down, they say, I told you. Apostle Beverly Bam Crawford. Apostle would be governmental. It is understanding that he would be foundational. But the foundation is what he rests his faith upon because of the foundation of the word of God. And so faith is always now. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. It's always now. Hope is always future. And I'm convinced that most of the church are full of hope. Which is not a bad thing. Except hope will protect your mind. But it will not produce results. So most of the church is hopeful. And there's a very big difference between hope and faith. Now faith is the substance of things what? Hope for. But faith is what gets you the results. So you wonder, how come I get this? I know I believe God. I know I love God. I tithe. I do everything I'm supposed to do. How come it's not working for me? Could be that you're hopeful. And Apostle Lord Michael Hunt. Watch this. Watch this. Because you no longer are sensitive. And your response is different. Now if he, if you, or if he, you know, got some sense, after a while, they're going to leave you alone. You know why? Because they're tired of getting that response. They're tired of getting the wrong reaction. And so they'll withdraw themselves and start pulling back. Why touch him? And he ain't going to respond to me. Why would I touch her? And she's not going to respond to me. God says when you lose your sensitivity to him, he'll move on to somebody else. Why talk to you? And you ain't going to listen. Why talk to you? And why, why, why you all? Lord, I want to hear your voice. But when he talks, you don't move. Can I say any more? It's going to be off the chain. I can't wait to see you there. Look, you know, I'm not one to gossip. But look here, check this out. You know we're going to have something special for Apostle Clifford E. Turner. Don't let him know I'm telling you this. But look, y'all be we. Let me say we, we need to be a special blessing for our Father and the Lord.